third annual Love Subby Awards. And where does that find us? It finds us in Cozumel, Mexico on a cruise ship. So we figured, hey, it's a great place to kind of start and look back upon the year because today is December 31st. Mm -hmm. It's New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. And we're going to look upon the best of the best that we experienced over 14,509 miles traveled mm -hmm. since January 1st of 2023. And we want these recommendations to be helpful for you. And so even if they don't win, they have the love sub and stamp of approval. Yes. So let's go ahead and take it on sheath. The coveted. The coveted. Love subby award. And these envelopes have been impounded by the Miami-Dade County Sheriff's Department to ensure during customs that nothing was inspected beforehand. And they were sniffed by dogs as well. <laughs> exactly. So let's go ahead and get on with the first category. So our first category for the Love Subby is one of our favorites because it's kind of how the foundation of our channel works and that is Best Americana. We love to go looking for Americana anywhere and everywhere we travel. And the nominees for this year's Best Americana are the Blue Whale Cantosa off of Route 66 in Oklahoma. Wild Drug in South Dakota. The Hubble Space Telescope Memorial, again along Route 66. And the last nominee is the Evil Knievel Jump Site in Twin Falls, Idaho. And the Love Subby goes to the Evil Knievel Snake River Jump Site in Idaho. Yeah, this one had everything, right? We had to go find it. And it was sort of an unexpected thing that we kind of found out with after we were looking into the city. And it tied into a whole lot of other stuff as well because kids played with the Evil Knievel thing. Mm -hmm. And we kind of felt like explorers kind of going to see what this thing was. And, and it was very... It was off, ruins and stuff. Yeah, it was very off the beaten track and not a lot of people knew about it. So we were pretty excited. So it had everything you needed for Amer a great Americana Love Selby. All right, our next category is Best Harvest Host or Boondocking Experience. And the first nominee is the Golden Spike Harvest Host in North Platte, Nebraska. Next is Camping at the Wall in the Badlands National Park. The third nominee is the Buffalo Museum. And finally, the folks at Saba Vineyards in New York. And these folks have the distinction, the mm -hmm. rare distinction of being the first ever Love Subby dual nominee as they were nominated last year yep. in this category and lost a closely fought battle to the Circle W Alpaca Farm. Yes. So let's, maybe they pulled it off this year. Yes, let's see who the winner is. In fact, I think we almost stayed there specifically so we could give them another chance because they're such a good harvest host. Yes, we enjoy them. They have a very nice winery. So the winner is the Golden Spike Harvest Host oh. in North Platte, Nebraska. So Saba Vineyard seems to be the Susan Lucci of the Love Subby Awards. So huh? far, yes. But, but nevertheless, the, for us, this one was great. Yes, this one was great. This was America's Commerce at Work, where we got to see all the railroads coming together in one point, And it, it was just amazing. And you know, we love seeing commerce, whether it's shipping, it had a good viewing area, level sites, easy to pull in for the harvest host. Mm -hmm. We learned a lot that we never even knew. We saw like a three-mile coal train. Yes, and we found out why they have sometimes locomotives in the middle because right. they break off. Watched them hump by gravity. Mm -hmm. It was just a fascinating harvest host that we learned about. It was. And in fact, this year, this is something we encourage you to do. You know, for the past couple of years, we've only been doing harvest hosts at vineyards and breweries. Yes. This was the first year that we branched out into the Buffalo Museum, like Cindy nominated. Yep. And at the Golden Spike. And it's definitely a, a something to look into. Branch out your harvest host and yeah. get out there. And, and learn something new. All right, on to the next category. Okay, we're getting into some of our campgrounds now. And for 2023, we're actually going to skip Best Corps of Engineer campgrounds because we actually didn't stay in a lot of them this year. It just didn't work out that right. way. So, but we will continue our hierarchy of campgrounds and go to Best State Park. Mm -hmm. And the nominees are... Henry Lake State Park in Idaho. Boss Lake State Park in Oklahoma. Turtle River State Park in North Dakota. And actually, these had some of the best bathrooms that we'd experienced on our trip out west. So this one is a very good nominee. And Mayor State Park in Alabama. Mm -hmm. And actually, we weren't even sure this was eligible. We had to check with the eligibility committee. Mm -hmm. But this was actually the first video we released in 2023. Mm -hmm. So the eligibility committee did determine that this one was OK. It was valid. And then Love Subby goes to. <clears throat> Mayor State Park in Alabama. Right, that, 
State Park had the most beautiful sunsets that I remember seeing. People were actually coming out every night and vi videotaping and just photographing all these sunsets. But again, Cindy and I always liked that dichotomy and the mix of nature's beauty mm -hmm. with humankind's beauty. Yes. And to have I-10 running behind with the lights of the trucks and the... And when it slowly started getting dark, that was also beautiful it, as well. it, it was It was dichotomous and beautiful, mm -hmm. right on the water, and then it was an opening for us to go to the Battleship Alabama. Yep. So, um, wonderful sights. And a very, very good location for Mobile, Alabama, if you want to visit that city as well. So, Mayor State Park, you're a winner with us. Mm -hmm. Okay, our next category is the best city and county parks and we actually hit these hard this year we had a lot we of them. did because we got no cancellations anywhere and yeah. so sometimes on the weekends we had to actually find something to go to and stay and the county and the fairgrounds were the best yeah these things are often overlooked you can't really find them except on campendium and for example one of our nominees blackfoot fairgrounds we were the only ones there on a weekend right so it's definitely something to consider when you have uh, need a campground somewhere. And they're also sometimes a very good value as well. Yes. Okay, so this year's nominees for Best City or County Campground are... E.G. Simmons Conservation Area in Florida, and that was near Tampa for the RV show. Clay County Fairgrounds near St. Augustine, Florida. And Two Rivers Campground near Duluth, Minnesota. And Blackfoot Fairgrounds in Idaho. And the winner of the Love Subby is... Yes. This is a highly contested category. It was a highly contested category because there were two that were very, very close. E.G. Simmons Conservation Area in Ruskin, Florida. And this one was a very interesting story, right? Yes. So what was interesting is that, A, they don't take reservations. Mm -hmm. And we needed reservations for the RV Florida Super Show. And we, we ended up initially about 60 miles away. Yeah. So we showed up. On a Wednesday. There were three sites available. It's $18 a night, water, electric, 30, 50, they had 30 amp sites and 50 amp yep. sites. You have access to a beach. Yep. But anyway, E.G. Simmons, there's a couple of different county parks in the Tampa area mm -hmm. that are first come first serve. That can be your resource if you need them for the RV Florida Super Show. Yes. So on to the next category. Okay, this next category is the best private campground. And we don't go to these very often because we do prefer the state and county and this Corps of Engineers campgrounds instead. Yeah, two of these uh, nominees were over $100 a night, so... It's a splurge for us. Yes, but every now and then they're worth it. So let's see who this year's nominees for best private campground are. The first nominee is Sturgis RV Park in Sturgis, South Dakota. The next one is Cherry Hill RV Resort in College Park, Maryland, just outside of Washington, D.C. The third nominee is Devil's Tower KOA in Devil's Tower, Wyoming. All right, and the love subby goes to Devil's Tower KOA in Devil's Tower, Wyoming. And this one offered the full package. The view was absolutely amazing. I mean, we literally pulled up, stopped, and just couldn't believe what the view was. We could not believe the view. Yes, absolutely. And also what actually cemented its win was the fact that it showed close encounters of the third kind right in front of Devil's Tower at night, every night. Yeah, you know, Cherry Hill Campground is absolutely spectacular. It is one of the best resort we stayed at the entire year. Yep. And beautifully it, manicured, beautifully kept. It was just awesome. Everything about it was great, but mm -hmm. that view, yep, that was something memories are made of. Yes. So, Love Subby for the Devil's Tower KOA. Let's get to our next category. We can count on one finger the number of times we went out to dinner this year as part of our road trips, but we went out to lunch a lot. Didn't we, we did, and because we like trying local food and we like to experience new restaurants as well. Yeah, so this, today, this category is the best lunch spot, and the nominees are Angel's Diner in. Palatka, Florida, Palatka, which is Florida. Florida's oldest diner, which is something we just stumbled upon. Yes. Canal Park Brewing in Duluth, Minnesota, which to me had some of the best fish tacos of the year. Yes. Lake Superior Whitefish. Yes, it was. In fact. And the next nominee is Milner Brewing Company in Twin Falls, Idaho. And Columbia Restaurant in Ybor City, Florida, just outside of Tampa, home of the Cubano Sandwich. Yes. All, all of them were a great experience. And the Love Subby goes to... Milner's Gate Brewery in Twin Falls, Idaho. Yes. You had the best yeah. soba 
dish ever, right? And it's crazy that this one's getting a love subby because we vowed not even to bring the camera into this restaurant. We were, we're not, like, oh. yeah. We were not planning on filming yeah, we'll anything kind, there. Yeah, we'll kind of bring it. But I, we just had, the atmosphere was perfect. The beers were perfect. The brewery was gorgeous. Yep. And perfect. I had literally the best soba. And the food uh, was ramen. Yeah. You know, when a ramen dish, what we're learning is to do good ramen takes about eight hours. Yes. This ramen took them about eight hours. Yes. So. And what was even more incredible that without the beef, it was actually vegetarian. Yes. Absolutely delicious. A surprise. And who would have thought the love subbies being sent out to Twin Falls, Idaho. Idaho. In fact, this is the second for Twin Falls, Idaho, behind the Evil Knievel uh, jump site. Yeah, so Idaho is scoring the love we loved, and We loved Idaho. Yes. All right, moving on. Okay, this next category is one of our favorite, and it is best local food experience. Yes, we like to go out and try local foods, and sometimes I like to create them, recreate them in the Airstream. And well. we've got a number of videos throughout the year in which Cindy has recreated some of these very dishes you're going to see here. So the first nominee is Ben's Chili Bowl from Washington, D.C. Nefla from North Dakota and Minnesota. Yep. The third, cat, the third nominee is Scott's Barbecue from Hemingway, South Carolina. The Runza Sandwich from Nebraska. And the final nominee is St. Louis Fried Ravioli. All right. So All good ones. And we made a bunch of those. Yes, we did. So... The nominee that wins, the love subby, is Scott's Barbecue from Hemingway, South Carolina. And actually, even though we didn't make barbecue, we actually tried to replicate his sauce. Right. But you talk about local food. Yes. This was one of the most local places we've ever visited in our lives. Yes, yeah, so it was pretty much in the middle of nowhere, but the barbecue was spectacular. We were introduced to Red Rock Soda for the first time ever. Yes. I mean, some of the meals came in like white bread and just a sandwich bag. Mm -hmm. It was on just basically by the side of the road. But when they pull in a truck of good hard wood yep. that they're going to be smoking with, and you, you can see trucks like this coming yeah, in. Yeah, you know it's going to be a good spot. You know it's going to be a good spot. So without a doubt, that Scott's Barbecue took, was spectacular. Took, yeah, took the, it's well deserving. Took the prize. So on to our next category. I kind of like hanging out here for this next Love Subby Award because we are at the Stern staff and as your local favorite vexologist, I... Uh, amateur vexologist. Amateur vexologist. Like hanging out here and you can see we're flying the flag of Panama, which is where the Carnival Conquest is... Registered. So let's go ahead and talk about our next category, which is our best experience. Yes, and we had a bunch of good experiences this year and we had it was a hard one to pick one good one, right? Yes, and we define experiences as those things that we like to do um, as part of just what we like. Um, a little bit, out, not really Americana, not really a museum, but let's go ahead and look at this month's, uh, this year's uh, nominees. Right, the first nominee is the Golden Spike reenactment in Promontory Point, Utah. The second one, of course, has to be the Oscar Zero nuclear missile facility in North Dakota. The third nominee is the Youngling Brewing Company tour in Pennsylvania. The next one is the world's first nuclear reactor, EBR-1, in Idaho. And the last one was... The Triple Tree Aerodrome. And the love subby goes to... The Golden Spike at Promontory Point. Yes, that was so much fun, and you got to even participate in the reenactment. Yeah, and you know, we had the trains moving, you know, the National Park Service had the trains running. Um, which was great. I mean, these beautiful locomotives going back and forth. We got to see really a piece of history which united the country, which is great from east to west. And your character came from? Pittsfield, Massachusetts, just about 10 miles south of us. So Absolutely. Overall, that we just enjoyed the heck out of it. It was a great um, experience, and it was fun to be able to participate in the experience as well. Yeah, I think the, the Triple Tree Aerodrome, the flamping, probably would have done a heck of a lot better had the weather been better and there were a lot more aircraft coming in. Yeah. If that had truly been... There were some high winds in the area. Yeah, so we're going to have to get back to that because that that was something that I think was kind of muted yes. as to what it normally would be. So, we yeah. We may have to give that one a try again. Yeah, but definitely uh, our Golden Spike, we loved that experience. Yes, that was a lot of fun. Okay, this next category is Best museum visited. We enjoy going to different museums, not only to get some local experiences, but to also learn a bit about history as well. Yeah, we're both big history fans, and there's so much to learn. We love it. So, so this year's nominees are 
The first nominee is the Potato Museum in Blackfoot, Idaho. The second nominee is the USS Alabama and the associated exhibits at Battleship Cove in Mobile, Alabama. The third nominee is the Lift Bridge and Associated Museum in Duluth, Minnesota. And final nominee is Hill Air Force Base Museum near Salt Lake City, Utah. So the Love Subby goes to the Idaho Museum. Yes, this museum, you know, wasn't the biggest, but it, this was a destination museum. And it was a whole experience. It was not only a museum, but you could also order your own baked potato and all the fixings. So you could ex actually experience the Idaho baked potato. And it was a part of the entire community. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the potato, you know, Idaho and potato are so synonymous to learn about russets and how they came about and to, the blight. And, and to learn why Idaho is the perfect place to grow potatoes. You know, you know, the, the, the military museums are great. We love them, but um, you know, we, we, a lot of that wasn't new to us. Even though they were places you should visit, they are Love Sub and approved. Mm -hmm. um, we just had a great time there and yep. highly recommend the Idaho Potato Museum. Yep. We're going to do something we haven't done before on the Love Sub Award and give a Lifetime Achievement Award. After only one year of being around, After it gets a Lifetime Achievement Award. Because I consistently say that the three greatest purchase I've ever made in my life was Cindy's engagement ring in 1990, the Airstream in 2002, and today's Lifetime Achievement Award, Award, which was purchased in 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, Let the story roll. of Starlink. <laughs>
love Subby Awards. Comment below if you think that any award was stolen. What? Th that something should have been awarded that wasn't. Or that is that true. If you, you if, think was differently. If you think you had a better Best Picture award, comment below. So you like this video? Give us a big thumbs up. And if you think we're in a subscription, go ahead and subscribe. And like I mentioned, comment below if you think you had a Best Picture that should have been nominated. Because we come out with RV, Airstream, and our annual award show once per year every Tuesday. Thanks for watching.